everybody, I'm Boaz Feiler. I'm an evolutionary astrologer and I'm here with the evolutionary astrology forecast or message for the week between November 9th and 16th, 2019. So, we are in the midst of great turbulence and transformation. And this time would be most difficult for the ones who think everything is going to stay the same. I want you to prepare for change and I want you to encourage it in your life. Everything you know that needs to transform counts right now. Your efforts, our efforts count right now. I feel a bit like Gandalf going through the uh, uh, lands of Middle Earth, if you know Tolkien's universe, telling, telling folk to, to brace themselves for the shadow is spreading, you know. And, and there is a great battle going on, a great battle that is going on within the souls of everyone, everyone, between light and darkness, between sensibility and ignorance, between communality and individuality, between interconnectedness, interconnectedness and separative illusion. We can see it in the sky by Ceres, the goddess of the land and fruitfulness and grain and flowers and fruits, along with Jupiter, Zeus, king of the gods, together trying to do their best to bring a salvation to the situation, to bring wisdom in and to bring grace in. And we can see all these movements of awakening throughout this world and, and, and people changing their ways and understanding that everything small that we do counts, you know, that we have this tremendous weight upon our shoulders, that we live at a time that we are either going to destroy or save the world we're living in. And some of us don't want to understand that. The burden is too heavy, so we drink something, we go buy something, we eat something sweet, we have some sex, you know. Or we dismiss it as conspiracy and an attempt to um, scare us into a global autocracy of uh, um, fascist uh, ecologic regime, you know, which is just stupid. And, and basically, in your life, my advice to you regarding everything is to understand that there are two insemination points for every feeling and some feelings can stem from either one of these roots of these poles one pole is fear and one pole is love and what you give out is what you receive as simple as that as simple as that and it was a sad day when I understood that it's not money that makes the world go round because I never believed it was money that makes the world go round but I understood it was fear it was fear for financial security that caused the need for money in the first place so it's fear making the world go round and love that made this world in the first place. Because life, the only way that life has ever been created is through love. And it is no coincidence that we create new life when we make love. This universe and the idea of life within it is equal and similar to the idea of love. It is the purest understanding of what God of what our role as beings and part of that everlasting fabric came here to do and it's not that easy to be in love in your life and not in fear and not in anger and not in resentment 
And these times matter and they count. They count. Every little thing counts. So we can see Ceres and Jupiter walking hand in hand on the one, squaring Chiron, the bleeding wound in Aries. Oh, hello, Birdie. And that square is heightening, you know. Another opposition in the sky is Juno and Chiron. So right now our long-term relationships need to change. Patterns need to move away, move out. Things that have been good in the past are not apt anymore. Need some cleansing. And if we don't do that, we're going to experience pain. Old pain. And towards the end of this month and really from the end of next week we're going to feel an opposition between Uranus and Mars and that's going to make everything more hectic and volcanic and eruptive so brace yourselves brace yourselves brace yourselves yeah <laughs> so the 11th we're having a, a inferior conjunction the ancients talked about inferior conjunctions as earthly and, and earthly bound uh, uh, matters so in this time it's a great time to do a visualization or a ceremony that visualizes how you would like yourself your body your intimacy your partnerships both in uh, uh, um, business and intimate terms and your psychological makeup to change and of course I'm saying this because this inferior conjunction is in Scorpio and these are scorpionic issues and just a day later there's a powerful full moon in Taurus opposing that Sun Mercury of course very fruitful moon with an ability to bring great bounties and business and deals so also in you know financial terms Put in the weight, put in the extra effort, it will pay off. And especially from Wednesday onwards, these are especially good days for signing deals, for making business. And the weekend is nice, it's nice, it's just a great time to relax with family or people you feel closest to. So that's about it, and there's still space um, for private lessons or joining one of my groups online and of course for private consultations you can get in touch all the details are at the end of the slide thank you for sharing these videos and commenting on them and may we all live long and prosper bye bye